Welcome back to the shop. This week I'm going to teach you how to make this decorative tissue box. I made this tissue box using some spalted pecan with an accent of mahogany on all four sides. It has a removable bottom so you can replace the tissue and it holds a standard size tissue box. I went ahead and resawed a piece of this pecan into two separate pieces and it gives me some sides of about five sixteenths of an inch thick and as well as the top and by resawing it I was able to create a book match for the top of this box okay for the next step we're gonna go ahead and take these side pieces and we're gonna rip them right down the center rip a couple of strips out of this mahogany we'll glue the strips in to these side pieces and then create a nice little accent. Now we're just going to go ahead and glue these together and uh, get them in the clamps. And now with the side panels and all glued up, I went ahead and cut a 45 on three sides of each of the side panels and the two end panels. I want to go ahead and get the measurement for my top uh, so I can cut a 45 around all four sides of the top. And in order to do that, I went ahead and I made a small jig to hold the box together. And essentially all it is is a piece of MDF. I've got two scrap pieces of MDF screwed at a 90 degree angle from one another. And then I've got two circles that I made on the table saw. These circles have uh, screws in them that are offset from the center which allow them to act as cams. So this way I can go ahead and set the box up. Get everything, all the corners lined up and everything. And that way I can go ahead now and take a measurement for my top.
And now with the box lid cut down to its uh, final size, and all four sides have the 45 in there, it'll fit nicely in here. Now what we need to do is go ahead and cut the opening where the tissue is going to pull out. And then on all four sides, we need to cut a groove for the bottom panel. On one of the ends, I went ahead and cut a portion of the bottom off. And what will happen is, is this will be glued to the bottom panel and it will act as a pull uh, or a handle for you to be able to slide the bottom panel in and out to load and unload this uh, tissue box. So now let's go ahead and get everything glued together and while the sides are gluing up, I'll go ahead and take the top panel over to the scroll saw and cut out the opening in the center. All right, I just went ahead and used some blue tape to uh, glue the top on. And now we're gonna let that set up. I went ahead and cut the bottom panel and I've got that small end piece glued on as well and I just got it secured with some blue tape. We're gonna let it sit up. We'll uh, sand and clean up the edges and take off some of that sharp edge a little bit. Sand it a little smooth and uh, get a finish on Well, that wraps up this week's project. I hope you enjoy it, and hey, I hope you build one of your own. And if you do build one of your own, please post a photo of it on the Assemble Design of Ocala Facebook page. I'd love to see it. Now, if you follow me on Facebook, you know recently I had a Labor Day giveaway. We were giving away a Weber Smokey Joe Grill. Here's a photo of it. Now, all you had to do to enter the giveaway was solve a simple riddle, and the riddle was this. If you look, you cannot see me. If you see me, you cannot see anything else. I can make anything that you want happen, but later everything goes back to normal. What am I? Well, the answer I was looking for is your imagination. As we say at the Simple Design of Ocala, we're transcending the limits of imagination. So for everyone that answered your imagination, they were automatically entered into the drawing. And I told everyone that I'd be announcing the winner at the end of this video. So what I did is I have all the names of the entries inside our tissue box. And we're going to go ahead and shake it up and draw a winner right now. And the winner of the Weber Smoky Joe Grill is... Jeremy Sibley. Congratulations, Jeremy. Hope you enjoy that Smoky Joe Grill. Now, if you get a hold of me at Laney at AssembleDesignOfOcala.com, Send me your shipping address. I'll get that grill to you. I'll go ahead and leave uh, that email in the description of this video, Jeremy, so you can get a hold of me. And I look forward to hearing from you. Congratulations. Now, guys, tomorrow I'm going to be in Atlanta for IWF 2012. I'm pretty excited about going. I'm going to take my video camera and shoot some video while I'm there. If you happen to be going to IWF, hopefully we'll run into each other. Well, guys, until next week, see you soon.